Hello there. Welcome to this brand new section using REST services to connect to ThingWorks platform over the internet. Great. So what are we going to do in this section? First, we're going to get some perspective. We're going to log into the ThingWorks platform. We're going to create a thing and add some properties. Then we're going to get started with the REST call first. We're going to be setting up Postman. So Postman is a simulator for REST services. And this is widely used to build REST services to test them and so on. Then we'll actually get you a key. And this key will actually get you logged on to the ThingWorks. So you can send messages to the ThingWorks platform using this security key. Then we will make the calls, get put posts. We're going to get to know what are these. And finally, we're going to put all this information which you learned at an IoT device level and try to send a message from your IoT device using Wi Fi boards to the ThingWorks platform. So by the end of this section, you will know what is a REST call, what are the different types of REST calls, how to put a REST call together, and how to put this from an IoT device using Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Exciting stuff. And welcome to this video using the idea and methods. In this video, we're going to see what is a REST service, why you should know about it, and also we're going to see the sequence and the layout of this section. So what is a REST service? The REST service stands for Representational State Transfer. I know it's a bit complicated and really doesn't make much sense. Now, in common language, it is basically a framework for communication between different entities in the World Wide Web. This is ideally a client and a server relationship. It runs over HTTP and the actual message body can be in XML, JSON or any other defined format. Why we should know about REST? Now in IoT development, we are looking for a common language to talk between IoT devices and more specifically platforms. REST is widely used in the industry today and that is one of the main reasons why we should know this. It's almost like knowing English. So in most parts of the world, you can get by just by speaking English. So it's something like that. Now let's take a quick look at how a REST message will look like. Here I just want to trigger your curiosity for the section. So a simple message would look like this. So this is the put message. This is the host information, key, content type. And this is actually the message. So bat and then connected. We're going to see how this works. Now, this kind of a message wouldn't generally go from a browser or from a wrapper service or from a software or from a mature library. Now, in general, an IoT device has many constraints and one of them is the space on the device, which is your RAM space and also the processing part. So, most likely your library will not be very heavy and you actually have to build your HTTP requests. So this is a simple request. We have a string and this is the actual message. And then you basically are building a URL and then you're making an HTTP post and then adding a couple of headers. So don't worry about it. We're going to see how to do this and we're going to see how to do this with examples on the actual device. 